What's going on YouTube? This is Max coming back at you once again with another video. This time I'm doing a video on the Sony A90J HDR color banding issue. I know, I know, I know I've been saying great things about the TV so far, but I was reading the comments and one person who commented about they was having some HDR uh, color banding issues on the Xbox Series X, I had to go ahead and test it out. So I'm about to go ahead and show you a video of the issue that I'm having with the Series X. But before I do that, if you like this type of content, if you give me a like button and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And before I go ahead and switch the video up, the Sony A90J is not the only one that's having issues with the color HDR color banding issue. Uh, LG is also having the same thing too. And I'm about to go ahead and show you a link. Well, I'm about to show you a post from Reddit, uh, from a Reddit user, and I will post it, post that link and this video and also to the source of where I found it from because I found it from AVS Forms and the person did a great job by posting the Reddit uh, user. So I'm about to go ahead and do that first. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you where I was able to get this information from. And then we'll go from there. All right, so from here, just like I said, uh, mentioned before, I'm gonna post this link. Uh, right here, this user, uh, this user posted this 20 days ago, but he had HDR color banding on the LG C10 or CX with the Xbox Series X. And pretty much he just described what's going on. It's the same exact thing that I'm uh, going through with the Sony A90J uh, and the same thing with this other uh, user that commented on my videos is having in the AVS form as well too. But uh, what this person pretty much described is, is that he can't find any solid or credible information on this and it's driving, uh, driving him insane. So I'm getting absolutely insane amounts of banding and color gradients on any game displayed in HDR. Does that sound familiar for anyone who owns the Sony A90J? So he said, I'm not a picture per uh, perfectionist at the slice, so please believe me when I say there's a stream color banding uh, and gradients. He said, I can't get a screen uh, a shot or a picture from the, uh, my phone to actually show how god awful the colors color banding is. Now, um, for me specifically, I try to capture the color banding that I have it on my Sony A9J uh, playing Xbox Series X. And it's really hard to capture it. I play, I recorded Destiny 2 gameplay, Call of Duty, Halo, Master Chief Collection, and Forza Horizon. Actually, I didn't, I didn't have a record the Forza Horizon, but I will uh, put uh, some uh, video on that. But uh, out of those three games, well, actually, out of those four games that I played, all of them had banding issues. And... It's kind of weird because it's like I had to switch off the HDR on the Xbox Series X, start playing the game, it started working. I then switched the HDMI on, on excuse me, I switched the the actual yeah the uh, the external input on the HDMI uh, from the 4K 120 to Dolby Vision. It seemed to work great with no issue but when I uh, but when I switched it back to 4k 120 I was discovering that it was working at first but then I was running the issues again and then uh, vice versa but uh, if you guys don't know what color banding is it the best way I could describe it is is that when you look at bright objects you start to see the color to separate each other uh, from the screen so that's the best way I describe it uh, to you guys but this guy has done a great job as in giving a detailed explanation of the issues that you was having with so this is what he was experiencing with this LG C10 so it's not just the Sony A90J so that's a good thing um, bad thing is is that it's happening as well with the LG. So I don't think this is a, it's a TV issue. I think it's more of a console issue. So I just want people to be aware of that. But I mean, I could be wrong because uh, it could be the TVs are just not really ready for the HDMI 2.1. I'm just 
doing this is my analysis that i found so far and this is what i discovered and like i said thank you uh to the person who commented on my videos that asked me to start testing this out because this is the first thing that i said uh i seen so just to give you guys a heads up um just like i said i'm not here to sell you a tv i'm just going off my experience if you're buying this tv specifically for gaming uh, for Sony A90J, I would say just wait. Because one thing that's been a negative is it don't have the gaming features like VRR, variable refresh uh, rate, and uh, ALLM. So all the load latency mode. So those are the things that should have been baked in before this TV was launched. Understand it is supposed to be a firmware update. Now that firmware update got delayed to winter 2021. And so those are the kind of things I'm saying just just hold off on this TV because I would hate for someone just to buy this TV just specifically for gaming and they run into the same issue. And I know it would drive me nuts if I bought this just for t uh, for gaming and this happens to me. So just let you know, I'm aware of it. I got the video out and stuff. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Xbox can see this. Sony could take a look at this. LG, you could take a look at this too to see if they could try to fix this. But um, yeah, I just want to make sure you guys are aware of it. But besides the gaming part for watching like movie contents, TV, whatever, uh, sports, this gate, this, this TV is great. It's, it's, it's what I'm saying it is. But for the gaming features, that's something that uh, I would say hold off on. But let me go ahead and switch it to the other video just to show you guys my gameplay footage. And um, just like I mentioned before, I will post this link uh, in the description and also to uh, the source of where I found this at. All right, the first game I'm showing is Destiny. So uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just show you guys my settings that I have on the Xbox Series X on the A90J. And what you see here is uh, if you go into display settings, and you'll see that I already have 4K 120 already enabled. The only thing is not checked off is Adobe Vision, which you already know that Sony doesn't do that at the same time at this at this moment. But uh, you, you can see that it's at 4K 120. Uh, you can see all everything is pretty much ticked off stuff at the variable refresh rate and Adobe Vision. What I did find that was interesting, it does show uh, ALLM. So I don't know if Sony has that, but I uh, just want to throw that out there to everyone that the Xbox Series X did recognize it. Uh, it shows it was checked off at the auto uh, latency mode, but even before this, Sony already had this on their previous lineup TVs that it automatically switched to game mode. So I don't know. I don't know that, uh, if it's too much of uh, too much of a benefit for other people to know about it. But Sony already's been already been doing that. So just a FYI. So anytime you switch to a game mode like PlayStation Five or Xbox, it the set, picture setting always gets switched over. So which is a good thing. So it's just the only concern is the variable refresh rate, the VRR, which we need, especially when it comes to tearing uh, game gameplay. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of Destiny gameplay. I try to capture a little bit of the gameplay where it shows the banding, but it's hard, it's hard to really capture this on the camera. So just want to let you know that I'm trying to show some sky scenes specifically on each game and I can see it from my view, but it will be kind of hard to see it from the actual video. So just, just want to throw that out there as a FYI, uh, I am seeing it. And uh, I did show a little bit of my settings that I have on the Sony TV. So I'm going to that real quick while Destiny loads up and show you some of the gameplay.
base game I'm showing is Call of Duty uh, Cold War and I was just going through just want to show you my settings on the Sony A90J showing you that at have it at the 4k 120 for uh, HDMI for the eARC so they're just showing you that information and I'm about to go ahead and switch back to the game to show you that in the graphic settings of Call of Duty you'll see that it is also enabled for 120. So what do you guys think of the video of the Sony A90J gameplay video playing at 4K 120? Just to let you guys know, I did try multiple settings on the Xbox Series X. I did the auto HDR, I took the HDR off, had it on, off, I switched it to 60 hertz. 60 hertz seemed like like uh, when it comes to color, uh, kind of, excuse me, color banding, I, I, like it it disappeared at 60 or 60 frames per second but then when i switched it back to 120 then that's why i was having an issue again so i like i said uh just like the article i mentioned in the avs forum forums and even the article uh even some of the comment uh commenters are having the same issue so i'm really hoping that it's the xbox series x and not the sony a90j uh, but the Sony A90J is not the only one. The LG is having the same issue too. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you like this type of video. Like I said, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like and the subscribe button. And then, oh yeah. So uh, I picked up uh, Godzilla, the 4K version uh, on uh, Ultra HD. Uh, excuse me, Ultra HD. And I will do a little bit of a demo on my Sony A90J, but also uh, since I already have the digital copy of this, I am, you can take a look at it. I don't know if I can get a good picture. Let me do, see this. Yeah, this is, uh, I got it at Best Buy. Yeah, this uh, Godzilla. Yeah, because I'm looking forward to uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. So, uh, well, Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, so, but uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because since you guys have been watching my videos and subscribing, and like I said, I can't thank you guys enough. I want to go ahead and give you this redemption, if you can see it. Uh, hurry up, whoever the first one can get this. And... You get a digital copy of Godzilla and you can redeem it on uh, movies anywhere. So I just want to give you uh, give it to you guys just for subscribing to the channel and stuff. I was going to do something if I hit a thousand subscribers, but I mean, right now, I I can't even thank you enough. I only have 500, but I just like I said, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. So this is what I, at least I could do. 
and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and end the video on this. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.